Anti-Semitism is the term used to describe prejudice and discrimination against Jews as a religious group or a race. It can be an attitude of mind or involve actual physical violence and persecution. It's important to understand the background to anti-Semitism because it has been the cause of some of the most violent acts ever committed in the history of the human race. The term was first used in 1879 by Wilhelm Marr, an anti-Jewish writer in Germany, to describe hatred of the Jews. In the beginning, it was a misnomer, meaning that it wasn't an accurate term. In the jargon used at the time, Semites were a broad group of non-Europeans that included Arabs, so the term anti-Semitism implied discrimination against Semites. Despite this logic, anti-Semitism has always been taken to mean anti-Jewish racism and continues to have the same meaning today. In ancient times, hostility toward the Jews first emerged because of religious differences, but anti-Semites throughout history have condemned Jews and Judaism on the basis of false charges, hearsay, and distorted information. Anti-Semitism was made worse by the competition between Judaism and Christianity. By the fourth century, Christians had begun to see Jews as an alien people who should be blamed for the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Christian leaders claimed that the Jews had been rejected by God and that the old religion of Judaism had given way to the new religion of Christianity. They felt that Jews should remain subservient until they accepted Christianity as their religion. This perception of Jews as a separate race was made worse by the strict Jewish social code, especially their dietary laws, which restricted Jews from engaging in full social contact with non-Jews, who are referred to as Gentiles. In the Muslim world, Jews were also demoted to second-class citizens, and their rights were restricted. But hatred and persecution was never as intense as in the Christian world, partly because Muslims had no reason to blame the Jews for the death of Jesus. Like Christians, Jews were seen as infidels, but also classified as a race who should receive more tolerant treatment than people who believed in more than one God. But Jews were still subject to repressive and discriminatory laws in Muslim countries where they were compelled to wear a distinctive badge or costume and forbidden either to build new synagogues or repair the old ones. Things got worse for the Jews in the Middle Ages. During the Crusades that began in 1096, there were huge movements of people on their way to the Holy Land. Scores of Jewish communities that lay in the path of the Crusaders were either badly damaged or wiped out. As the Middle Ages progressed, Jews were denied citizenship in many countries in Europe or were forced to wear distinctive clothing. That period gave birth to many of the stereotypes applied to Jews and they were forcibly expelled from several regions in the world. Those stereotypes have persisted into modern times and contributed to anti-Semitism. The later Middle Ages also saw the spread of ghettos, the name that originated in Venice in the 1500s. Ghettos were crowded slum areas where Jewish people were forced to live in near poverty. Such ghettos continue to exist in some European towns for more than 300 years. In German-occupied Europe during World War II, the Nazis revived the Jewish ghetto system. Although there was more religious freedom in Europe in the 18th century, anti-Semitism continued because Jews were still regarded as outsiders. In the 19th century, anti-Semitism got even worse, and violent acts against Jews intensified in the form of what became known as pogroms. These were planned campaigns of persecution or extermination directed against ethnic groups and often sanctioned by the government. In this period, the misguided idea emerged that Jews had different biological characteristics from other human beings, and that notion replaced religion as the main basis for anti-Semitism. In the 20th century, the economic hardships in Europe caused by World War I intensified the prejudice against Jews, many of whom were accused of profiting from the war, and rampant anti-Semitism began to flourish in Nazi Germany in the 1930s. Nazi persecution of the Jews led to what is known as the Holocaust, in which an estimated six million Jews were killed in concentration camps in Germany. 
Although the end of World War II marked a decline in anti-Semitism throughout the West, pogroms occurred in Poland in 1946. The Soviet Union and other communist regimes initiated anti-Semitic campaigns after the war, especially during Stalin's final years. Anti-Jewish feeling and widespread pogroms also erupted in Arab lands, mainly in response to the establishment of the Jewish State of Israel and the Arab-Israeli and Palestinian conflicts that followed. Some anti-Jewish leaders, such as the President of Iran, have even claimed that the Holocaust never took place, even though it's a well-documented historical event. Since World War II, Christian churches have condemned anti-Semitism and taken steps to eliminate or modify any anti-Semitic teachings in textbooks and other religious literature. Despite this, anti-Semitism remains a problem in many parts of the world.